So I just got Emp at level 37, and I'm not even CP10. Now, I've personally sold Emp carries and Emp dozens of times. My first Emp was in 2017, when I was like fucking 13. So the easiest way you're gonna get Emp is from Blow 50 campaign. So first thing you're gonna do is check the leaderboard and see where everyone's at. You're looking for the least amount AP needed. So if you look, red's at 420, blue's 700, 80's 480. So in this case, you would want to play on EP because it's the least AP needed to be number one. And of course, it'll vary for you, but again, just look for the least AP needed to be number one, and that's what alliance you're going to want to play on. When you pick your alliance, you're going to need a class. The class doesn't necessarily matter as long as you're not a healer. Because if you're playing solo, you on a healer doesn't do fuck all for you. You're going to want to be on a DPS, preferably one with AoE, like a Templar or some shit like that. I mean, Stand Blade's fine. Single target, it's fine, but preferably AoE. Now, of course, you're going to need gear. You're going to have to level your character up. I play Magplar because you can go in as little as level 10. With some basic-ass crafted gear, you can solo keep on a Templar at level 10. When you got your class set up and your gear and you got your alliance all sorted... You can go into PvP. So the first thing I do for my M carries, you want to get your passive for your mount speed. This shit you need because your mount speed is going to be slow as dick and it's going to suck. You need this fucking passive. So the first thing I do is I get six resources. Don't fucking matter where. Ideally, normally what I do, I get... Three resources, two keeps, making my way to this outpost. I go to this outpost because there's a delf. After you get the buff, solo the outpost. Take it, keep it, prepare it, love it. <laughs> then you go and want to target the corner keeps for the 8% AP. Now, ideally, you would want all three because that gives you the most... AP buff, along with the delve buff, it's f pretty fucking nice, but most of the time I only end up getting one, don't worry too much about getting them, but if you can, it helps. From there, you can just take resources, take whatever the fuck you want, it doesn't necessarily matter, take keeps, outposts, resources, whatever, do whatever you want to do to get your AP, doesn't matter. If you're getting countered, say like Emps on, or there's a bunch of blues for whatever reason, and they're countering you at the outpost or something, and you can't even take this shit, you could farm resources to get number one. Worst case scenario. Just do your thing, get your AP, get in number one, so you can start pushing up. Now when it comes to the actual push, it's gonna be different every fucking time. Every time I've done an amp push, it's been different. All different experiences. So, if you're, let's say you're completely fucking solo. There's no greenies, you have no help, nothing at all. It's just you. And you're going to have to solo all six keeps. What you want to do is get a spawn point. So, it don't matter where. Outpost, Velasterus, don't matter. Get a spawn point fairly close. Flag an amp keep. Open it. Sit on the wall, in inner, sit on a wall, and just chill. See who shows up. Is it Emp? Is it five blues? Is it a singular <laughs> level 10 that you know you could kill? See who shows up. You're basically just looking for it when it's free. When it When is it a free keep? When is nobody showing up? When no one shows up, go ahead. Open the inner door. Take the bitch. Repair. And then repeat. I mean, if no one shows up at, say you're at Robeck, no one shows up, you could just big dick it at Ash. F 
try to take it. If someone shows up, they kill you. It's fine. Respawn. Chill for like 30 minutes. Try it again. Sit. Open the fucking front door. Sit on the wall. Wait. No one shows up. Try to take it. If it's free, great. Repair. You just repeat. Keep doing it exactly like that. Ideally, you want to wait till it's completely empty. I mean, it's very possible for them to see you. Oh, you got like three keeps. Now they're going to hop on and start taking them back or whatever. And if they do that, that's fine. Let them. Wait till they get bored. I personally, not saying you have to, I would personally hop on blue and help them fully take the fucking map. Say, like, I'd help them take all the red keeps, take the AD keeps, so there's nothing left for them to fucking take. And they it just bores them out. They have nothing to do, so they get off, and that gives me a cool three hours to take these M keeps. Solo, they're all bored, they hopped off. It's all gonna be free, because there's nothing left. So when you do that, you get these keeps. Even if, even if they take it, you retake them. Maybe a greenie or two will show up. Maybe like five of them will come on because they see you pushing imp and they want to help. But either way, if they don't, you're still eventually gonna cap these. As long as you wait, you bore them out. No one shows up. You're going to cap them if they're free. And then it's an imp. You got it.